Here we go. Welcome to my channel, topspot.ph. I am new. Your voice narrator today. And upcoming videos. And this is the amazing top 10 in the world. Enjoy watching. First in the list, the top 10 most dangerous viruses in the world. Before we start. Remember you have always a choice. Top 10 Most Dangerous Viruses in the World was published last 26 January 2016. The new coronavirus disease, COVID-19 was not yet included in our list. As top 10 most dangerous viruses in the world, maybe soon. Stay tuned. For the upcoming videos for COVID-19. Let's start from the number 10 in our list. Here we go. Number 10 in the list, Dengue Virus, DENV. Dengue virus is mosquito-borne viral infection through the bite of Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus mosquitoes. Symptoms of dengue typically last two to seven days. Most people recover about after a week. Transmission of dengue. Mosquito to human transmission. Human to mosquito transmission. Rarely, through blood transfusion, organ transplant, or through a needle stick injury. Areas with risk of dengue. Dengue is found in tropical and subtropical climates. Worldwide. Mostly in urban and semi-urban areas. Dengue outbreaks are occurring in many countries of the world in the Americas, Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Pacific Islands. The first recognized dengue epidemics occurred almost simultaneously in Asia, Africa, and North America in the 1780s, shortly after the identification and naming of the disease in 1779. The first record of a case of probable dengue fever is in Chinese medical encyclopedia from the Jin Dynasty, 265 to 420 AD, which referred to a water poison associated with flying insects. The first confirmed case report dates from 1789 and is by Benjamin Rush, who coined the term breakbone fever because of the symptoms of myalgia and arthritis. Typical dengue is fatal in less than 1%. Dengue hemorrhagic fever is fatal in 2.5%. Hemorrhagic fever is not treated, mortality rates can be as high as 20% 50%. Each year, up to 400 million people get infected with dengue. Approximately 100 million people get sick from infection, and 22,000 die from severe dengue. One in four people infected with dengue will get sick. One in 20 people who get sick with dengue will develop severe dengue. Severe dengue can be life-threatening within a few hours and often requires hospitalization. Prevention and control. Prevention of mosquito breeding. Personal protection from mosquito bites community engagement, reactive vector control, active mosquito, and virus surveillance. A person can be infected with a dengue virus as many as four times in his or her lifetime. A blood test is the only way to confirm the diagnosis. The first dengue vaccine, Dengvaxia, SID TDV, developed by Sanofi Pasteur was licensed in December 2015, and has now been approved by regulatory authorities in 20 countries. Number 9 in the list is most dangerous viruses in the world. Chiasiner Forest Disease Virus. KFDV. A highly pathogenic member of the family Flaviviridae causing a zoonosis. Chiasiner Forest. Disease virus can cause epizootics with high fatality in primates. Chiasiner forest disease virus is transmitted by the bite of the tick. Haemophysalis spinigera. KFDV a tick-borne viral hemorrhagic fever endemic to southwestern part of India. KFD has historically been limited to the western and central districts of Karnataka. State India. People with recreational or occupational exposure to rural or Outdoor settings, e.g., hunters, herders, forest workers, farmers, within Karnataka state. 
are potentially at risk for infection by contact with infected ticks. Incubation period of 3 to 8 days, the symptoms of KFD begin suddenly with chills, fever, and headache, severe muscle pain with vomiting, gastrointestinal symptoms and Bleeding problems may occur 3 to 4 after initial symptom onset. Patients may experience abnormally low blood pressure and low platelet, red blood cell, and white blood cell counts. The estimated case fatality rate is from 3 to 5 percent for KFDV. From 2003 to 2012, among 823 confirmed cases, 28 were fatal. Chiasiner forest disease virus, KFDV, was first recognized in January 1957 at the primary health center, Ulvi, in the Shimoga district of Karnataka state in India. Recent discovery and sequence determination, Cheryl et al., 2001, of a closely related subtype of KFDV. Alkerma virus, ALKV, provides a rational explanation for the presence of KFDV in this single area of India. The vaccine does exist for KFD and is used in endemic areas of India, but lower vaccine efficacy and coverage rates. Additional preventative measures include insect repellents and wearing protective clothing in areas where ticks are endemic. There is no specific treatment for KFD, but early hospitalization and supportive therapy is important. The vaccine for KFDV consists of formal and inactivated KFDV. Two doses 62.4%. Effectiveness rate for individuals. Additional dose increases to 82.9%. Recent observations suggest a lower vaccine efficacy and coverage rates. Newer vaccine approaches, e.g., chimeric or virus treatment, KFDV protein subunit vaccines, are being investigated to potentially replace the current vaccine. Number 8 in the list. Machupo virus, also known as black typhus. The infection causes high fever, accompanied by heavy bleedings. Is a hemorrhagic fever. And zoonotic infectious disease originating in Bolivia after infection by Machupo mamarinavirus. The Machupo virus was first isolated in 1959 and is a New World Arenavirus. From the Arenaviridae family, the disease was first encountered in 1962 in the Bolivian village of San Joaquin. Incubation period, 4 to 21 days. Symptoms are patechi, blood spots on the upper body, slow onset with fever, malice, headache and myalgia, very similar to malaria symptoms, bleeding from the nose and gums, hemorrhagic phase, Neurologic symptoms involve tremors, delirium, and convulsions. The virus can be transmitted from human to human, and rodents often the carry it. Although, rare person-to-person -person spread of the virus is possible through nosocomial transmission. Occurrence is concentrated in Bolivia and surrounding areas. Machupo virus is limited to the location of its specific rodent hosts, commonly found in tropical grasslands and temperate forest regions, eastern Bolivian plains, northern Paraguay, and western Brazil. The case fatality rate during the 1960s outbreak was 22 percent, an outbreak in Bolivia. Over 1,000 cases 1962 to 1964, which co-occurred with an increase of the calamities. Vesper mouse rodent population, and the mortality rate was 18%. Reduced contact between the Vesper mouse and humans may have contributed to limiting the number of outbreaks. Additional preventative measures include insect repellents and wearing protective clothing in areas where ticks are endemic. Rebavirin treatment for Bolivian hemorrhagic fever caused by the Machupo virus has been used successfully although more detailed studies are required to determine its efficacy. Next up, the number 7 in the list, Crimean Congo Hemorrhagi Fever Virus, CCHF. The widespread disease caused by a tick-borne virus, Neurovirus, of the Buniviridae family.
In 1944, Soviet scientists first identified the disease they called Crimean hemorrhagic fever in Crimea. First isolation of the virus in Congo in 1956. CCHF is endemic in Africa, the Balkans, the Middle East and Asian countries south of the 50th parallel north the geographical limit of the principal tick vector. In June 2008, first case was diagnosed in Greece, and Spain reported the first locally acquired case in August 2016. Transmission to humans occurs through contact with infected ticks or animal blood. Transmitted from one infected human to another by contact with infectious blood or body fluids. Symptoms and other clinical signs include tachycardia, fast heart rate, lymphadenopathy, enlarged lymph nodes, and a petechial rash, a rash caused by bleeding into the skin, on internal mucosal surfaces, such as in the mouth and throat, and on the skin. Prevention and control of CCHF infection is achieved by avoiding or minimizing exposure to infected ticks by using tick repellents. Wearing protective clothing early and correct removal of ticks are recommended. The mortality rate from CCHF is approximately 30%, with death occurring in the second week of illness. In documented outbreaks of CCHF, fatality rates in hospitalized patients have ranged from 9% to as high as 50%. The antiviral drug Rebavirin has been used to treat CCHF infection with apparent benefit. Both oral and intravenous formulations seem to be effective. No validated. Specific antiviral therapy for CCHF. Next in the list. Number 6, most dangerous viruses in the world. Junin virus, JUNV, also known as Argentinian mamarinavirus. Junin virus is associated with Argentine hemorrhagic fever. People infected with the virus suffer from tissue inflammation, sepsis, and skin bleeding. A member of the family Arenaviridae, genus Arenavirus, and belongs to the Takarub complex. New World Arenaviruses. The virus took its original name from the city of Junin, around which the first cases of infection were reported, in 1958. The emergence of AHF in the 1950s is hypothesized to have occurred due to human alterations of the habitat in relation to agricultural practices. Junin virus is endemic to the fertile farming plain of central Argentina, known as humid pampas, Transmission form human to human is rare, however, nosocomial outbreaks can occur via spread from highly viremic patients. Junin virus is believed to occur mainly through inhalation of aerosolized body fluids, blood, saliva, or excretions, urine, feces, of infected rodents, typically during agricultural work. Transmission can also occur via contact of skin lesions to infected rodent secretions and or excretions. Symptoms, usually 6 to 14 days, but in extreme cases it can range from 5 to 21 days. Usually lasts for one week from the onset of symptoms. The onset is insidious, with symptoms such as chills, malas, anorexia, headache, myalgia centered particularly over the lower back, and moderate hyperthermia. Physical examination will often reveal flushing of the face, neck, and upper chest conjunctival congestion, and periorbital edema. In females, non-menstrual uterine. Bleeding is common. The gums may look congested and may bleed spontaneously or under slight pressure. At the end of this phase the patient may be irritable, lethargic, and present with a fine tremor of the hand and tongue. When untreated, the case fatality for AHF is 10 to 30 percent, which is lowered to 1 percent. When treated with serum from patients who have recovered from AHF. Convalescent serum plasma. The administration of convalescent serum is the treatment of choice and has been shown to be highly effective. Antiviral treatment with rebavirin may prove effective as a treatment, provided that it is administered early in the course of the illness. A live attenuated Junin virus vaccine known as Candid No. 1 was found 
to be safe and highly efficacious when tested in AHF endemic areas.